Alright, though, we will continue onwards and continue our journey for Hog Wild. The first of two hog levels. I was about to say boar, but it's a hog. So, yeah. And this has started the, um, the animal riding levels. This had a hog. Once again, I was about to say a hog. This had the. Yeah, I was going to say hog. I was going to say a boar by accident, but this is a hog level. Uh, Crash 2 had the adorable polar bear, um, and Crash 3 had uh, the tiger levels, which are probably my favourite ones. I do like the polar bear ones in Crash 2 as well, as those are quite cool. I think I'll say it, I think I might say this now, yeah, I'm going to say this now, but I may also bring it up again if I am doing all three games, but if I get to Crash 3, I don't think I'm going to do a, a playthrough of the Future Tense level, because I already have done it um, on my channel, so I might just include that in like the playlist, but we'll see, it depends. Um, I might still do it. I'm definitely going to do uh, Stormy Ascent in this playthrough anyway when I get there, so uh, why not? <laughs> it depends how I feel, but I may or may not do the Future Tense level, just because... Just because, yeah. Alright, Native Fortress. It was it Native Yeah, Native Fortress. This is the final level of the first island. The first of three islands. Uh, yeah. So let's go. This is also the last of the Great Wall levels, but they technically do return because the castle stages and the well, slippery climb and stormy ascent is basically this level variant, just with a different theme. And there's also the industrial. Mechanical uh, uh, versions of this as well. So this game does like reuse uh, level themes with like a different coat of paint, and it works quite well. It, it fits for world building, and I think it did it quite well. Uh, oh, get over you! Okay, I didn't think I hit the hitbox for him quite fine, but I'll take that. I shall take that. I don't think we're getting the box gem in this level either. I could be wrong. Also, is this the last? No, I'm thinking of all levels here. This is the last of like fortressy. Fortress are, but there is also like the. Um... There is more of like an Aztec-y theme version, like for Sunset Vista and all that. Um, that's something else I forgot about. Right, bounce up there. There's another thing that I do like about this game is how throughout most of the game you can also see your destination. Like in the background there you can see Cortex's castle. And you can see that throughout a lot of the levels in this game and I really like that, that touch. It's a nice attention to detail, it kind of shows your progression through the game. I kind of wish more games did that, to be completely honest. I think it's... Oh, oh dear. I think it's a nice little touch. Shows how far the hero has progressed into his adventure. His or her adventure. Um... I don't think I need to go back there, but I can do. Oh, okay. There's our first death, guys. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't think I was in range of him, but I guess I was. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> oh, I got tag teamed. Okay, <laughs> deaths are bound to happen. To be completely honest. And the deaths are only going to pile up 
because there's no way I am going to be doing the bridge levels without dying at least once. Alright, we should be almost there. Let that fire go off and jump. There we go. There is a part where there's three of those fire things and it's, it is possible to get past all three of them before you get flamed, but you have to be really quick about it. This part here, now you're supposed to jump onto where that ledge is, like in the middle, but if you do low jumps you can get through. Okay, I took the chance, I tried to do it, but I was a bit too late on the old jump, but it is possible. You go up here, and then you wait, and then you go again. But it is possible to go uh, through that without taking the, uh, the little stop in the middle. And I have done that in the Platinum Relic run. So yeah, once again we couldn't get all the boxes in this level because you need, you need, you need the gem. The red gem, oh damn it, come on get up there, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, if this was the original crash, that would have been a mistake. Because that platform there is where the exit would have been in the original. So if you jump for the exit, you've missed a box. And that is painful. <laughs> Alright, we have finished the first island. So I'm going to go for a little bit longer on island 2. Because I've still got time. I guess to explain how I'm recording, um... I'm basically using the PS4's inbuilt recorder and using Audacity to record my commentary. Um, at maximum, you can record for an hour with the recorder until it like stops and then goes to the next one. So I have a timer on my phone um, telling me how long I've gone for. I've tried to sync it all up as best as I can. So I've got about about half an hour more. But I'm not going to record for that long. I think I'll do a couple more levels here and then I will stop. So this may end up being... Part 2 spliced up into other parts. I, I don't quite... I don't quite know, to be honest. <laughs> we will see. See, so yeah, there are three islands in the game. Uh, islands... the islands aren't too big, to be honest. Whoa! I'm not sure what happened there, but Crash sort of... automatically started walking backwards. Maybe it was from the influence of... the monkey? I think I can get all the boxes in this level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Let's just go back, and there should be boxes down here now. Yes. I don't know. Oh, poo. <laughs> I slightly forgot how you did that. That bit. Oh no. Oh. Carefully does it. Alright, we need to go back again and go over there and stuff. It is strange because there's no clear indicator that there would be boxes there. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get through this level without the box gem and we'll have to return to this one. I do have the feeling this is... I do kind of have the feeling that this is a level that I can't do just yet either. We will see if my hypothesis is correct. If not, then... Oh well. Maybe I was wrong. I, I 
tried to spin, but it didn't quite spin. Right, there should be a toner there. There's usually a toner icon like right next to uh, the bonuses, so you kind of know where the third one is. Um, in the original, you just kind of got teleported um, to the bonus. And this is where most of the boxes are in this level, I've just realized. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, bang, bang, fish, bash, bosh. I'm, I am glad that they reduced the jumpy boxes down to five, like in Crash 3, because originally in Crash 1 and 2, um, it was I totally could have got the box gem in this level, couldn't I? Oh uh, well. Oh well. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Yeah, I totally could have. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Alright, second moss, Ripperoo. I do prefer Ripper Room Crash 2, to be honest. I think his boss fight in that game is, uh, well, it's easy, yeah, it's it's better, because this one can just be a little bit, a little, a little boring. You just gotta remember his pattern, and explode him. With the big TNT, that's your game. Neat. So now he should be going in a... Yeah, he goes in a diamond. No, he goes in a, like a T-shape. So I'm gonna wait for... Let's wait for the TNT to... drop. There we go. Hopefully that gets him. I got him. Nice. And that game too, sweet! Sweet! Yeah, that boss is quite simple when you really get into it. It's just, it's just a matter of timing. Alright, that's boss 2 down of... Like, I think, how many bosses are in this game? There's... 1, 2, 3... There's 6 bosses. I think this game has the most... The most bosses, actually. Because Crash 2 and 3 didn't have 5. This one is 6. The Lost City. This is the first gem challenge. So I think this will be the last level I record in this session. I'm going to try and get it. How do you actually get... You do that. That's a first. I didn't know. Ooh, that's a first. I didn't know you could even like get back over once you broke it. But I guess you can kind of break it in the jump. I do need to concentrate a little bit, so I may go quiet because this is a gem level, a college gem level, meaning I have to be. I do have to be careful. I think Sunset Vista is worse, and I think that is a colored level? I could be wrong. Let's take out the bats. Alright, checkpoint. Yeah, you don't want to break that box because there's an embryo thing, then you want to break it. Right, careful, careful, careful. To get rid of the bats, you need to kill the the bats that are just like there. There is an Akamaku mask floating there, because you can see the shadow of it, but I'm not too sure like, how you get it. Right, tournament mask number two. Those lizards can be a little bit of a pain. They're not too... Uh, these guys more so can be a bit annoying. I kind of need him, though. There you go, that's how you do that. Nice. Yeah, this level isn't too bad. It does introduce you to some new mechanics. 
but really it's nothing too tricky. Um, getting the Platinum Relic in this level though. Hmm. I don't remember it being that, that tough. Oh. Honestly, most people have said it, but uh, Crash 1 really wasn't designed for um, the relics. <clears throat> and I do have to agree. They really weren't. Okay, there's the token. Now you do have to be careful because it is right below fire. However, I'm, they might have patched it, but you can run on that wall. Ah, oh, you can still do it. <laughs> Hitboxes are a little weird in this. Now, thankfully, in a bonus, it doesn't count towards the whole gem thing if you die in it. So you can die as much as you want in here. Which is really fair. But I did it without any problem. Nice. But we're still not out of this. We have a bit more to go. Careful. Okay. That guy screws me up occasionally. Alright, take it easy. You don't want to rush these. Okay, the physics on that were weird. They didn't, it didn't move at all. But, uh, I died, so... I died again. <laughs> so this will be a level that I have to return to. Sadly. I mean, we're so close to the end. <laughs> oh well. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. But there's a tip here you don't want to try and bad nick bounce over to this guy on the left. As in, uh, well, for those people out there who don't know what I'm talking about, it's a term that people use in, like, the Sonic. Like games where you bounce off an enemy and then you kind of use that momentum to then fling yourself forward further and bounce on the next enemy and that carries the momentum over. Um, you don't want to do that there because you know this isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, poo. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, that's yeah, fine. <laughs> I've got plenty of lives as it is. Oof! Right on the noggin of that hit box. You, you, yeah, at the very end you need this guy and your mountains up here and those to explode and you would have got the gem, I have all of them, but sadly, 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 nearly perfect, but I died. Yeah, that's how I feel too, Crash. You're not the only one. So that's kind of a taste of how the gem levels work. Actually, I think I will do the Temple Ruins, just temple ruins and then I'll end there because that is halfway into island number two and I still have a little bit of recording time left. I don't want episode two to be like on the lesser side. It depends on if this is even if this even is episode two because who knows. So yeah, this is Temple Ruins. This is the first of quite a couple uh, inside temple monument kind of 
Nothing geese, and I think this level has a cortex. I don't think it did. I didn't. It didn't have a. Uh, it didn't have a key. So I, I, I'm. I'm wrong there. Be careful, does it? There are spikes, and the spikes they kill you if you're not careful. And there's flames of death. And, ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get torched there. There is a point in a level like this where there is a snake, and if you spin it, you kind of blow up a bunch of. Ooh, you kind of blow up a bunch of crates, and in that crate is a is a cortex icon. So a tip. If you find a snake in this level, like just jump on top of it, just 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 to be safe. Wait, oh, I jumped a bit too soon. It'll come back. They always do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I timed it wrong anyway. Now here's something that I see quite a few people miss. La 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 la. Yeah, somehow, I mean, it is a bit questionable. The Wampa Fruit are there to hint that something is that way. Uh, but people seem to, I've seen quite a few people miss that, like, they wonder, how do you get that? How do you get those Wampa Fruit? You're going to die if you go that way, right? No. It's a hint. It's a little hint that there is a secret that way. Uh, Crash, 2, Crash 2 does something similar. Um, that game introduces nitro boxes and you kind of taught not to touch them because they go explodey no matter like what you do. But there's a point in the game where there's like a staircase of them but they're not like bobbling around like normal um, nitro crates do. And you can actually stand on them without them exploding because they're kind of like fake. They're fake boxes and they actually lead to a secret. Nice, we got the gem. So that kind of, kind of makes up a little bit for the failure of the green gem there. But yes. Okay, so now. Now we have well, four gems and we are 30% into the game. That will be a nice point to wrap up, I feel. Uh, because we have the road to nowhere next. I have to mentally prepare myself for these levels, even though the road to nowhere is not as bad as the high road. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end things off with this little recording session. We'll come back to this soon, hopefully, where I continue the journey to save Crash's girlfriend. But first we have to traverse the road to nowhere and test our skills. So I hope you've enjoyed this little, this little recording sesh, these are a couple parts. And I'll see you soon for more Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Mm -hmm.